When I was just in North Carolina, I got to see the social worker that I had when I was a little kid. She has now become a healer, a healer worker. She's amazing. Mary Lemons. What are your seminars or workshops? Well, the most recent one is dreams. Because the dreams are all inside of you. And I'm opening people up to their subconscious. Because the, the dreams is your spirit talking to you. And you don't need somebody else's words to figure that out. I give them tools to figure out their, their own stuff. And I mean, at the dream workshop, I never interpret a dream for anybody, but I lead them into interpreting them for themselves. Um, then my animal communication is probably one of my most popular ones. I teach people to communicate with animals. And uh, the one I did last weekend was about connecting to Mother Earth. It was about creating the sacred space of the fairies and the plants and all that. Then I have a workshop about relationships, about, uh, a workshop about grief. I mean, it's like living, living meditatively. Instead of shutting yourself out and doing your mantras for 20 minutes, you know, four times a week, you eat meditatively, you walk meditatively. I mean, you live a meditative life. And to me, that's more practical than secluding yourself. Anything in your life can be dealt with spiritually. And when you deal with it spiritually or energetically, you get down to the first cause. You learn your lessons that you came here to learn. So to me, anything you have going on can be looked at in that other other consciousness, that, that other way of looking at it. I mean, if it's working to, studying to pass a test, if it's trying to call a mate into your life, if it's communicating with your animal, uh, communicating with somebody who's deceased, I mean, it's all there, it's, it's, it's all connected. And when you buy into the fact that we're all related, no matter what we are, plant, animal, or human, then you can communicate and do anything. You can talk to the animals, you can talk to the trees, you can figure out what your spirit's doing. Because, I mean, I think our spirit knows what, our spirit's a step ahead of us, a, a step ahead of our consciousness. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, and when we connect with ourselves and with other people spiritually, it helps the everyday stuff fall into place. It's like after your session with Tony, things fell into place. Uh -huh. Because you got rid of the subconscious barriers that were there. That Tony you didn't Cahill. even know were there. Yep. And once you get rid of them, then it opens you up to be within the rhythm of, of the universe. I think that my subconscious knew what I was doing with my movie, Searching. Sure, yeah. I think it was ahead of me. Yeah. You didn't set out to do what you, it wasn't, you know. But you were ready to do that. Yeah. And this is the, the way your subconscious uh, got you to do it. Yeah, I think if yeah. I had known I was going to do it, I wouldn't have done it. You probably wouldn't have. <laughs> no. no. I would have been like, uh, no thanks. Yeah. So how do people book you? They just call you up? Yeah. And I've created the workshop. But then I always turn it over to Spirit and say, okay, it's time to play. And I see it as play, because even if you're dealing with the worst situation possible, it can be done in a joyful way. And I don't think you need to re-experience the trauma to heal it. If you think you do, then then you do. I had a friend who was all excited, and she called, she said, Mary, I've called so-and-so, and I'm gonna meet my animal spirit guides. And she told me before I could do that, I had to retrieve all parts of my soul that I had lost, and I can retrieve all parts of my soul in four $100 sessions. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And I said, friend, <laughs> your spirit guides are available to you all the time, whether your soul is intact or, or not. And I said, and it doesn't take four $100 sessions to retrieve your soul. You can do that in 10 minutes. And I'd rather empower somebody to know how to do the work themselves after having a session with me. 
than to have them dependent on me. Yeah, that shows me that you actually care. Yeah, and then somebody is going to refer some, somebody else. But to keep a person dependent on you, that's an ego trip. And to me, that, that's not a real healer or, I mean, a, a healer or shaman, a teacher is going to learn from her students almost as much as they learn from her. And it's all a process. And, I mean, I have people who will call me a couple times a year for a tune-up. But most of my people will call me one time and then they'll refer somebody else. Then maybe a couple years later they, they will call me back. Because the work you do really helps them know how to do it themselves. But that, that's the type of things I like to do. I like to, for the people to see the connection in their own lives and for them to shift stuff. So you don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again. You don't have to relive the same story. You don't have to relive the same cycle. Hallelujah. Yeah. And when one, it's just like you. You stepped forward and you said, this is it. I'm no longer a victim. And when you did that, you empowered everybody else to do it. Because we aren't isolated. I mean, every, every time a person takes a step forward, it makes it easier for the next person to do it too. After we talked, we rode on bicycles over to her barn where she keeps her horses, her healing horses that she uses in her workshops. And she wanted me to meet one horse in particular named Starman. Sure are pretty, mister. Yeah, hi. I'm filming you in all your glory. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Hey. Hey. You're pretty. I love him. He did something I've, I've never seen any horse do. He went like this. Amazing. His upper lip come up. Teeth. Yeah. Yeah, he's smiling at you. He's smiling. You like Angela? Hey. Um, hmm? Hey. Yeah. He's a good horse. <laughs> he's flirting with me. Flirty with me. <laughs> Hello. What? He's like, oh, touch me some more. Touch me in the morning. Touch me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, hi. Oh, that tickles. He's flirting with me. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. Ooh, that tickles. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in love with this horse. <laughs> Ooh, he gave me goosebumps. Our healing is not just about us. It's about everything out there. And our animals and our relationships are here to help us do that.